I am the God man, living, learning his plan. This is teaching, never preaching. I'm the future advance. I'm the reason that you're reaching to the knowledge in this season. I'm the universe, lyrically in tune to work. My black magic beat is savage, so this music is my passion. I use a verse to break the spell, but the devil did his work. On the small minds while he running his turf. Rap niggas want respect, but these chickens are jerked. Talking spicy, love money, love sex, dummy. Love disrespect instead of building connects. To be the best of ourselves on this planet called hell. I see a lot of Satan's having your conversations about your life within the matrix but you never learn to change it practicing your rituals to keep us in your cages and my people do the same thing to keep us in that placement arguments of hatred it stops with my engagement we gotta step within our greatness we gotta set the record straight we gotta step within our greatness we gotta set the record straight we gotta step within our greatness we gotta set the record straight we gotta step within our greatness. We gotta set the record straight. Thing that's wrong with hip hop today. Too many rappers, not enough MCs. Too many rappers, not enough mother MCs, you dig? Hey. Is Ice Spice an MC? Ice Spice is a rapper. What's the difference between an MC and a rapper? A rapper speaks for the money. An MC speaks for the culture. Is Drake, is Drake MC? Drake is a rapper. J. Cole, MC. Kendrick, MC. What about Lil Nas X? He's rapper. Are rappers greedy? Rappers are greedy. MCs are righteous. Greed is a trait of the devil. Mm. MCs are gods. Rappers are the devil. Peace, peace. It's AMB African Man Born. On Random Thoughts. Random Thoughts is a podcast where I give you five to ten minutes of a random thought. So here we go. Um, so pretty much... Um, there was a conversation in a train station with a brother that was walking up. I don't know what station that was in New York. Um, he was talking about, um, he was asking about hip hop and the difference between rappers and hip hop. And he's right. There's rappers and then there's MCs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, MCs are a little bit more subject matter based. Uh, MCs are not always spiritual, though. I can tell you that. Some MCs are, 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 are just as uh, crazy as some of these rappers. Um, but when you're dealing with like rap, rap is an element that was watered down from the term MC or MC as MC or E M C E E. All right. Uh, I never really got the breakdown of that. I think Rakim was the first one to introduce that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there should be more of a breakdown from him. I, it probably is. I haven't, I'll be honest, I haven't uh, um, gotten that information on that yet. Um, but when I do, I'll save it for the Culture Speaks podcast, which I'm doing in May. Third week of May, I'll be doing the Culture Speak podcast. So I was going to save this for that, but uh, I had to talk about it because it's a small clip and it was random. So I, I, I decided, let me let me talk about this, especially being the MC that I am. I've been MCing for 30 years and I'm in my 40s. I'm 45. I'll be 45 in May. So um, with that being said, there's a big difference in the subject matter of rappers. And I'm not gonna get too deep on it because I don't wanna waste time. I don't wanna like take too much time up on this particular podcast talking about it. But when you talk about MCing, MCs derive from subject matter based material. You know what I'm saying? Subject matter based material that, that when it comes to lyrics, we value lyrical content, all right? This is why a lot of people get upset when it comes to like the hip hop awards and the the, the you know the the Grammys, uh, which I think the Grammys is full of shit. I I, I, I don't even watch the shit. They they just want to capitalize on everything that we do, and it's sickening to me. Um, it's disgusting, especially when black artists take on that persona. When you got a white artist that that's like fuck them. Eminem says fuck them. He don't he don't want to be invited to the Grammys again. And you got black artists who sitting there quick to sell themselves out and tap dance for these fucking devils that want to d- d- you know exploit your culture because you make a little bit of money. Uh, and this is the difference. Rappers will exploit themselves. Certain rappers will exploit themselves, especially these rappers that were quick to go on the uh, uh, COVID vaccine train, not even realizing that you were pushing poison to your own people. Just like when you talk about drugs all the time, you're pushing poison to your own people. Don't get me wrong. A lot of my favorite MCs were drug dealers. You know what I'm saying? They sold drugs, they sold crack, they shot at people, they probably murdered some people, you don't know, right? But as you grow, you start to change your messages. You start to develop a grown message, which is why Nas is my favorite 
MC of all time because he changes his message. You know what I'm saying? He he you know, he still talks about the, the shit from back in the day, but he's talking about moving forward and forward movement and gaining young fans, uh, uh, fans his age and fans even older. So he's talking about progression. And as you get older, you should be talking about progression. I've changed considerably since the stuff that I talked about. And after the shit that I talked about when I first started was just to fucking sound cool, but the shit wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? But it was a stage that I had to go through in order to get to the point that I'm at now where you get Dr. A and the African man born. You know what I'm saying? I'm more of a messenger than I'm a fucking, than just a rapper and the MC. Me being the MC, I love using the teaching element to MC. It's fun for me. And if you don't find it fun, then you don't then you don't really know how to uh, 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 MC. It's probably not for you. You know what I'm saying? If it's all about a cash cow for you, the time when your money goes down, if you still don't love this shit like that, then it's probably not for you. You know what I'm saying? Money comes slow in the music game, and you got to know how to do the shit proper. But at the same time, MCs don't vibrate on cash flow. MCs don't vibrate on something finite as money. MCs vibrate on lyrical content expression and sending a message, whether positive or negative. You know what I'm saying? So the brother, he said, you know, rappers are the devil, MCs are the gods. Well, there's certain MCs are the gods. There's certain MCs are the devil. You just got to know which one you're listening to and who you're vibrating and what's, what vibrates with you. You know what I'm saying? Because you got it. I mean, nowadays, I have to pay attention to lyrical content and what people are saying more than beats and all this other shit. That's why a lot of that new rap doesn't suit me. I'm not going to go and shit on it or demonize any rappers because they're at their stage. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to demonize young cats. You know what I'm saying? I will tell them what it is if they ask me, but I'm not going to demonize them for listening to that because that's their era. That's what they want to listen to and that's what they, they vibrate on. Hopefully they'll grow into more conscious based material or at least balance it out. I listen to some old shit. I listen to some gangster shit. You know what I, mean? I still listen to some NWA and all that, but I balance it out with, with the Poor Righteous Teachers. I balance it out with the Harris ones in the Boogie Down Productions. I balance it out. You know what I'm saying? And that's where the message that I'm trying to bring. You know what I'm saying? Which is why this podcast that I'm coming up with, um, quick plug, I, The Culture Speaks is a podcast where those who live it will understand it. You know what I'm saying? It's stupid. Those who live it will understand it and they will... Um, they will understand where I'm coming from. I'm trying to tie in hip hop culture to all cultures that existed, all cultures that exist. And what I'm, my whole purpose is to let you know that everything started with Nubian folks. You know what I'm saying? Even down to developing what we know as hip hop culture. What's the culture of R&B? What's the culture of reggae? What's the culture of, of classical? What's the culture of jazz? What's the culture, of not just music culture, but culture period lifestyle culture is a lifestyle living a culture you know what i'm saying even down to what i study which is uh uh wusabat uh, which is sabian culture nuabian culture hebrew israelite culture five percent culture and how these things tie into the development of what hip-hop is or should be today you know what i'm saying so look out for that podcast the culture speaks hosted by me um and we're gonna get it in on that level all right so with that being said this is my random thought on hip-hop hope you learned something from it and i'll see you on the next thought peace